Well hello me and Valia and welcome back to my regular vlog. I was hoping to do this from Parliament where I and many other MPs returned this week but I've been responding to emails and asking questions in the chamber and there just wasn't enough time. In many ways it's been really odd as Parliament seemed completely empty until we had to vote and then suddenly everyone was out. I'm sure many of you saw the long queue on the telly and in the press. Every MP I saw was social distancing and being very careful, but it was ridiculous. And I know we'll be changing the system, including for those MPs who are shielding at home. There was a big protest for Black Lives Matter on Wednesday in Westminster. The police brutality against George Floyd was appalling and incredibly distressing to watch. I'm pleased that those officers will be now prosecuted. And I understand the anger of people around the whole world. However, it is not an excuse for any further violence, as George's family have said, including violence towards police officers here in the UK. It was also disappointing to see people were not social distancing during the protest in Westminster. And I do hope that we don't see a spike in COVID-19 following it. I spoke in Parliament this week on the report about COVID-19 and the effect on black, Asian and ethnic minority communities. There needs to be much further research into why BME people are susceptible to COVID-19, although data shows that the virus is worse for all men and the elderly. The Minister has said that the review will continue, so I hope we get some more data on what is going on soon. I also sp spoke on the effect of COVID-19 on the airline industry, especially regarding Southampton Airport. It must be remembered that the airport had been hit before coronavirus by the collapse of Flybe, which operated 95% of flights. My view is Southampton Airport is only viable if it's able to build a short extension to the runway. This will allow bigger planes to land and make sure that it's more viable. I hope that you're now taking the opportunity to see friends and family under the easing of lockdown rules. But don't forget, we still need to be very careful and responsible. So have a great weekend.